Hello students, this is Professor Bharat Naik from Mechanical Department. Today I will start Module 2 Transient Heat Conduction. If the properties are changing with respect to time at particular location, then it is called as unsteady state. If the variation of temperature repeats with respect to time, then it is called as periodic unsteady state. Example, IC engine. The temperature of the body quickly changes if it is having low volume and high surface area. To solve unsteady state problem, we define the new parameter that is characteristic length and is given by volume by surface area. Byte number is internal conductive resistance to the external convective resistance and is given by HLC by K. Lumped body is a body whose interior temperature remains essentially uniform at all the time during the heat transfer process. Here the copper ball is lumped body as it is maintained with the uniform temperature. As if Quiet number is less than 0.1, that means the lump analysis valid. This means the temperature is maintained uniformly throughout the body. During the differential time interval dt, the temperature of the body rises by a differential amount dt. Consider a body of arbitrary shape is having a mass m, density rho, volume v and it is maintained in form temperature Ti. And this body is exposed to the atmospheric air is having a temperature T infinity, heat transfer coefficient h and this body is having surface area As. As Atmospheric air is having a temperature more than that of the body. That means always heat flows from higher temperature to the lower temperature. From higher temperature to the lower temperature. So here the mode of heat transfer is convection. Energy balance, this is convection heat transfer, as the body gains the temperature, the internal energy of the body will changes and is given by MCP delta T by T. Substituting M value and DT value and rearranging the above equation gives this expression. By integrating this expression from the limits initial temperature from the limits initial temperature to the final temperature use this expression. Next class I will solve simple numericals on transient heat conduction. Thank you.